Hi, it's Sandra, and I got my Manny by Me box today, and so I would like to show you the contents if you haven't already seen them. Manny by Mannyology has actually done the um, have has opened the box and done a video and um, did a nice video online for you to see. So I suggest you go over and see their manicure as well. So um, it looks like they've got a new box. It just comes in this and there's no bag or anything it's just the box so we've got the box and again we've got our little cards that um, Manny by me that Mannyology gives you that tells you kind of the little summary of what the plates are about and gives you an actual manicure step-by-step -step manicure that you can do on your own it's not step-by-step -step, but it tells you how to how to get things started and what um, colors to use and everything so now we're going to open up the contents of this before i do i just want to remind you that if you are interested in buying product from maniology please use my code which is ns10 and you'll get a 10 percent discount i don't believe you can use it on these boxes or the express kit but if it's your first box or your first express kit there is a code that is actually on maniology that you can use to get five dollars off so let's open this up and see what's in here. So we've got so in the box is a um, surprise, which this month and for May is this. Um, I believe they're little they're sparkles. So we'll open that up, and we've got this little card that tells you on how to stamp it's very useful if you have get stuck on stamping or you've never done it before and then you get the two ex exclusive plates that are not for sale other than in this kit and if you've seen the other videos or the video that Maniology did on this box they did a technique called lead lighting and all that is is just stamping your nails with the stamp and then after it's on your nail taking a sheer paint and nail polish and painting your nails on top. So instead of doing it before you actually put it on your nail, which is uh, reverse stamping, lead lighting is just using a sheer polish to paint once it's on your nail. So let's look at let's, so let's look at this first. Let's look at the it's called crushed. And it's very glittery. Let's see which way I think it opens this way. Very glittery glitter. I hate taking these caps off. Once I do, that'll be it. Ooh, very pretty. It's very, very pretty. It looks like it's um, different sizes. So it's not like just round glitter. It looks like it's um, very lightweight not like little gems it's very pretty it's iridescent so that's very pretty and then we've got the two plates we've got MXM 055 let's look at this one first and I'll need my tweezers for that and it looks like uh, these are, the last box was double filmed. And I don't know, this kind of looks like it is too, maybe not. But it definitely seems thicker than normal. So here is the one plate. Get a cl closer on this, see if we can get a picture that does not blur. There we go. And you can see it's got very, very pretty like stained glass scenes. So we've got, um, looks like trees and flowers in here. Oh, and a little pond it looks like with the frog. And then we've got, looks like a little bunny over here and peacock and a turtle and a little sloth. Here's one with some dragonflies. This looks like a koala bear. This looks like birds. And this looks like a snail over here. And then we've got some little corner 
um, designs. You got one with a mushroom, with an owl, You've got a little ladybug here, and a spider, and a little duck or dove, not sure which one, and then some little flowers. So very pretty stained glass images. Lots of things to color. So that's MXM055. And then the other one is MXM056. And here's some more stained glass windows. And this has got like the arch, the matching arch one. And we've got some butterflies, butterflies and flowers, butterflies and flowers. This looks some, like some lilies and irises. And some flowers up here. We've got flowers on this one and some more flowers. And then we've got the matching pieces. And then these, again, these little corner pieces. Very cute. Looks like there's a bee and a moth and this another ladybug, another bee. So a whole bunch of different stained glass things that you could really color in and it'd be very pretty. Okay, so let's now look at the polish. I'm kind of excited about the polish because one of them was, I think, is very, very sheer, which is nice. I can't remember if it's like a purple. Let's look at this. And this is May 2021. Manny by Me box. All right, so we've got like a purple and a like a turquoise or aqua. It's not aqua, it's more like a turquoise. So there you go. The purple one is called Shattered and the blue green one is called Glass. And I think the green one is the one that's gonna be the um, sheer polish. So let's take this, get some paper towel. We'll see if we can put stamp these, see that what color they turn out. My stamper, get my scraper. We'll see how this turns out. So this is the purple. Let's take one of our plates. We'll do one of the little images on here. Uh, why don't we do the little moth? So we'll take the little moth. And what I like to do is definitely wipe down the plate when it's new with some acetone, 100% acetone, so it gets any kind of film or anything that may be on there. So I'll take this off. There we go. Oh, we're going to do the purple, so let's do the purple. And again, this is called Shattered. This looks pretty opaque. Very pretty. And as usual with many allergy plates, every little line shows up. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna swatch it on here. Hopefully I didn't wait too long. Oh, that's coming off. So I waited too long, and that's what happens when you wait too long. So I'm gonna take that off and try it again. And sometimes, for some reason, these the image won't stick to the top of the polish. I don't know why. I I've, I've, didn't experience that for years, and then all of a sudden it just started happening. So I don't know what it is. All right, so we're going to take this off. Swatch this on here. And there you go. So if you can't see it, let's see if you can see it. So you can see that it looks, it looks really good on the white. It's very difficult to see on the black. So even though it's pretty deep, 
it's an opaque color. It's not like it's, um, it's really a cream color. So, but it doesn't stamp really well on dark colors. It's a light color one. All right, so let's do this one, the green. And let's use one of these for this. And you can see this is really, really sheer. So this is a very sheer polish. which is good for lead lighting. It's good for the, the pond effect. So I do that. You can barely see it on there. Let's see how it shows up on here. Very, 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 very light. So you can see that it shows up on the white, very light, and on the black, you can't even see it. So let's, let's just take one of these. I want to see what this turtle looks like. I want to put, do a turtle, the turtle one. Let's see what this, I'm going to do the whole image, see what it looks like in this purple. And there you go. It's kind of hard to see. It's very pretty though. Extremely pretty. So um, this is the May 2021 Mandy By Me exclusive box. And I will be back with my manicure using the things within this box. Okay, so here's the finished manicure. And I tried to get these to look like stained glass. That's what was my, what my goal was. And I think I came pretty darn close. So it's hard to see, but this is actually the little ladybug. Then I've got the snail on this one, on my ring finger. The turtle is really obvious. You can see that really well. Let's see if we can get these in a little bit. There's the snail. It's because of the glare, it's hard to see them. And then the dragonflies are on this one. And then I have actually the sloth on my thumb. See if you can see that. So what I did was I actually used my jelly polish and this is, this green is actually the one that came with the Manny By Me box. And I wanted it even more translucent than it was. So I mixed it with a top coat and it seemed to be a little bit more translucent. Cause what I wanted was you to actually see the lines and it looked like stained glass because even with the stained glass, you still see the lines. And what I was getting was uh, the lines would disappear with regular polish. It just looked weird. It was just way too thick. With the jelly polish, I think it really looks more like a stained glass look. So I just top coated. I used top coat on each of these jelly polishes to get them more translucent. And then obviously I just applied them. The um, I used the little sparkles. I don't know what you call those, um, the little translucent flakes, and I just randomly put it on each of the nails. And I think it turned out really nice. I'm really happy with it. Um, it was not a lot of painting. This ladybug is really hard to see. It was not a lot of painting though. The, the jelly polishes go on really smooth, so it's not a lot of detailed painting. And all I did was the image that I wanted to show. This one you can see the snail I did pink and then the mushroom behind it is actually orange. So that's how I did this and um, by watering down the jelly polishes and the jelly polishes I actually used are from Hit the Bottle and I did use the one from Maniology that actually came with the kit 
and hit the bottle ones. I have the blue, I have the green, I ha use the orange, and I use the yellow, and I used the pink. And there's one more, which is purple, and that's this one. So I used all of the jelly polishes from Hit the Bottle. I got those from Lantern and Wren. And again, just made them even more translucent and used them. And these are the little flakies that I got from the box, and I just randomly put them in. So there you go. There's my little stained glass manicure with the Manny by Me box, May 2021. And remember, if you purchase anything from Maniology and you want a 10% discount, please use my code NS10. Thumbs up if you like this video. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.